Arms and Heads back, and welcome back to my annual Halloween special. This time I'm going to be talking about Werewolf by Night, the recent Marvel Disney Plus uh, Halloween special, which debuted not too long ago, and directed by Michael Cicchino, which really surprised me. So in this film, a group of monster hunters are brought together to participate in a competitive hunt to determine who will be the leader of this secret society of monster hunters, as well as a fight for the possession of the legendary Bloodstone. But it turns out that one of the supposed hunters, Jack Russell, played by Gail Garcia Bernal, isn't quite exactly what he seems. I honestly wasn't sure what to expect from this film. All I knew was that it was a Marvel Halloween special that just debuted on Disney+. Plus. I heard like bits of it like here and there on social media, but that was about it really. As far as my like knowledge of the character, I had no idea about like the Werewolf by Night character, so I went in with a completely open mind and I did not know what to expect going in watching this film. Now that I have seen it, I was actually surprised that I really enjoyed this film. It's completely different compared to like what we've seen in the MCU, and I really want to see like more specials from Marvel like this. There's just a lot that I love about this film, and it's clear that Michael Giacchino is, I mean, taking like a lot of inspiration from the classic Universal monster films from the 30s and 40s, and as a fan of those films myself, that really brought a smile to my face, because uh, seeing this film shot in black and white, and taking a lot of like inspiration from those films, I definitely got a lot of nostalgia out of that. And with Michael Giacchino directing this, he did a fantastic job with this special, and normally I'm a fan of his work as a composer. As a director, I really want to see what else he can do as a director, because his work on Werewolf by Night, he did a, like I said, he did a fantastic job with this, and I really want to see what else he's capable of as a director. And as a special that's a part of the MCU, I was actually surprised that this wasn't afraid to get violence. Even though this has a TV-14 rating, it, I mean, there's some graphic imagery in this film. I mean, limbs are being torn off, cut off, and some disembowelment here and there. I'm just like, there's some pretty graphic shit in here. And I was actually very surprised by that. And sure, I mean, there was like tons of horror imagery in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But in Werewolf by Night, I mean, that surprised the hell out of me. I'm just like, holy shit. I'm just like, uh, they, I'm surprised they had the balls to do that. As far as performances go for this special, I really loved uh, Gail Garcia Bernal as Jack Russell, a.k.a. Werewolf by Night. Uh, you do like him as this character, both as a human and as a werewolf, and when he eventually does turn into a, were a werewolf uh, close to the end of the special, uh, <laughs> this, I mean, this, it definitely leads to probably the best thing about this special, when he's, like, tearing motherfuckers up left and right, and, yeah. I really, I was really impressed with the look that they gave of this character, and it looks believable, and I'm glad that they, like, stuck with, like, practical effects and just not rely on CG just to make it look, at, like, completely fake. I mean, they, like, I mean, they went with, like, practical effects and makeup, and I'm like, yes, I need that. Laura Donnelly as Elsa, I also thought was pretty good. And Man-Thing makes an appearance in this, which also really surprised me. There was just so much that I like about this, but there's, like, one aspect of it that really bothers me, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this, is how short this is. I mean, because... With something as, like, awesome as this, I really wish that we could have gotten more, because it's about, like, close to an hour long, and it just leaves us, like, wanting more from, like, more of this uh, for uh, Werewolf by Night. I'm just, like, there's just so much about this. I mean, you really got something special going on here, and it's really short, and I'm just, like, I want more of this. I mean, this is probably some of the best stuff in the MCU, and it's, like, really short. I'm just, like, I'm wanting more of this. 
and I need more of this. But besides that, I really don't have much complaints. I really enjoyed this. This really surprised me. This is easily one of the best things in the MCU thus far, and I highly recommend it. It's on Disney Plus right now, and I highly recommend giving it a watch. So I'm gonna give Werewolf by Night an A minus. <laughs> So what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Looking forward to doing more videos really soon on my Halloween special. And if you want my thoughts on older new films, of course, you know where to find me.